Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to say Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas to all of my viewers out there who celebrate Christmas. And in between my own holiday plans, I wanted to make this update video on the current jailbreak status for all of my viewers who've received new iOS-based devices, as well as new viewers. So I just want to keep you guys completely updated on the iOS 6 jailbreak for all current iOS-based devices. And first, before we get into that, I'm going to talk about the current jailbreak for iOS 6.0.1, which is most of you know is the latest firmware for all devices besides the iPhone 5 and the iPad mini because Apple did release 6.0.2 exclusive to the iPhone 5 and the iPad mini whereas all other iOS based devices are left on 6.0.1 for now. But without any further ado like I said I wanted to talk about the current jailbreak which is in the form of a tethered version of Red Snow. Now really quick to break it down tethered means that you have to plug your device into your computer via a USB cable and then run a certain part of the utility to boot it into its fully jailbroken state, whereas an untethered jailbreak means you can simply jailbreak it and reboot it without having to worry about plugging it into your computer if it dies or if you need to reboot it. So the current jailbreak right now for 6.0.1 as well as iOS 6 is in the form of a tethered red snow jailbreak for only the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. So only three iOS based devices have a jailbreak right now. And the main reason for that is because the exploit that's used it's called the Lime Rain exploit. It was discovered by GeoHot, and it's a boot ROM exploit, which essentially means the only way for Apple to patch it is to release new hardware, which obviously they've done since the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. So those devices will always be able to be jailbroken as long as Apple continues to update them and as long as they continue to release new firmwares for those devices. And now with that being said, I can go into the latest in the development of a jailbreak for the newer devices, being the device's power by an A5, A5X, A6, and A6X processor, which would include the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2, the third generation iPad, the iPhone 5, the fifth generation iPod Touch, the iPad mini, and the fourth generation iPad. So as I'm sure a lot of my viewers know, Joshua Hill, aka Podzix Ninja, is working solo to try and create a new boot ROM jailbreak for the devices powered by an A5, A5X, A6, and A6X processor, which as I just highlighted are the bulk of the devices that can upgrade to 6.0 and higher. So once he concludes this boot ROM jailbreak, he will essentially ensure that jailbreaking has a future, which means that once he does this, all of the devices I just outlined being the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2, the third generation iPad, the iPhone 5, the fifth generation iPod Touch, the iPad mini, and the fourth generation iPad will be able to be jailbroken as long as Apple continues to release new firmwares for them because again, this is a hardware-based exploit and not a software-based exploit. Also, I wanted to answer a question I get asked a lot. So most of the popular iOS developers and hackers actually send out pictures of their jailbroken iOS devices with Cydia and the newer iOS devices. And that's why they can't release a jailbreak for those devices and why they haven't tweeted out pictures of older devices. Well, essentially that's because they've already jailbroken those devices and they just wanted to show what they can do by tweeting out a picture of something like an iPhone 5 jailbroken because obviously that's a greater accomplishment. And if they can jailbreak the iPhone 5 on the firmware, then that means they can jailbreak the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S or something like that, at least in theory. So that's essentially why they do that. Again, like I said, there currently isn't a jailbreak for the newer iOS devices, just the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. So don't let anybody fool you. The only official jailbreak should either come from the iPhone dev team or the chronic dev team. Also, for all of you iPhone 5 and iPad mini users on 6.0.2, as I stated in one of my more recent videos, unfortunately, there won't really be a jailbreak for you. There most likely going to wait till iOS 6.1 to push out a jailbreak because again only two devices were upgraded to 6.0.2 so they're going to wait for that and 6.0.2 only fixes a Wi-Fi bug which essentially should ensure that all users will be able to upgrade to 6.1 once it's released via Apple's over-the-air update feature. So that's really the only reason the new firmware was pushed out for those devices. So hopefully once 6.1 is released POSIX and Ninja will have some great news regarding the jailbreak for all current iOS devices that can upgrade to iOS iOS 6 or higher. Again, I will keep you guys fully updated on this channel on the current tethered and untethered jailbreak status for iOS 6 and higher. All you have to do is just make sure you subscribe and I'll release new videos as soon as new information is available. Also, don't forget to enter the fourth generation iPad giveaway that I'm holding in collaboration with the members of iPod Uplink and Jailbreak Nation. Just be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And once you post your comment, you'll be automatically entered to win again a brand new fourth generation iPad. 
So I hope you guys have a great day today. Again, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate Christmas. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.